Why is it important that dowel pins are manufactured to such a tight diameter tolerance? Why isn't it important that the length tolerance tolerance is so much looser? I think the answer is because given that we use dowel pin, we have a hole and we use a press fit. So this went in there and it has to be very precise for the diameter because it has to create interference for it to stay for it to stay in there. Right. right. That's yeah. right. So what about the length? Um, the length? I mean, if, it depends, I suppose. What, I don't really know the answer. What about the length? You're usually not using the length as one of your critical factors. It's, it's almost always the diameter. Uh, so just what you said, you're usually press fitting a dowel pin and that's why tight diameter tolerance is so important. And the length really, you know, plus or minus five thousandths of an inch, ten thousandths of an inch, it's, it's almost always going to be fine and it just not matter. Okay, second question. Considering many dowel pin applications require a large force to press fit them in place, how should a designer plan to install them? Can it be done by hand? Well, looking at this, uh, let's see if I can get on camera. Just by looking at this, this is really hard, guys. So I don't see myself putting this dowel pin in there. I'm gonna break my finger if I would try to do that. <laughs> Your skin is just too soft. You're not gonna be able to do that. You need a machine. You're right. Yep. You do need a machine, and it's uh, the machine that's often used is called an arbor press. Uh, is that the hole that will go for another dowel pin? What do you think? Take a look at it. You see, I see a hole right there, and I mean, that looks significantly smaller. Take a really close look inside that hole. Tell me what you see. I see threads. Threads. So this dowel pin doesn't have threads. It would make no sense. Correct. A screw. Yep, that's per screw. Nice. <laughs> and how could we figure out what that screw thread is? By using the, the necklace. That's right. <laughs> the rosary. <laughs> exactly. The tool. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, let's let's really quickly take a look at um, a, an arbor press just so everyone gets a sense for what it is. Arbor press. <clears throat> okay. So this is a very, very typical arbor press. And... Yep, exactly. You'd put your part right in there, underneath the, the ram, and then you would rotate your handle, which would advance the ram down. And uh, these things are very highly leveraged. There's lots of mechanical advantage, which means that you might put 10 pounds of force you know, down on, on the lever right here, and you might get 100 pounds of force down here at the end of the ram. So that, that uh, multiplying... Uh, that leveraged force allows you to uh, install um, uh, interference fit applications like, like dowel pins. It, and it might take, you know, 50 or 100 pounds to install a dowel pin, especially when you're doing it in a really hard material like a steel, stainless steel, something like that. And another question that I have is, what gets me is this is a press fit. So you put it, you put it on with pressure. Why... Can this thing come out? Like if you really try to pull this out, I'm gonna try. Can I try? Yeah, no, go for okay. it. Go for it. It's not moving. I'm telling you. Like, look at my finger. Yeah, I'm. I'm really trying, guys. It's not coming out. Yep. Yeah. Usually the answer is no. Uh, if it's a press fit in a plastic, um, you can get it out without too much trouble. If it's in a plastic material. But if it's in a metal material like this one, this particular part is a uh, black anodized aluminum, um, and in in any metal material, if it's a you know a reasonable interference fit, like if you have I don't know five tenths of interference, that's five ten thousandths of an inch interference or more, it's going to be really hard for you to get it out. Now you can get it out, but you have to really pull hard. You're going to need to like mount the the substrate, the block, and like a, a vice or something, and then get a, a big like uh, pliers or some 
Um, you know, some, some really strong, sturdy tool to pull that out, and even then it's going to be pretty tough. How do you get this to go in so precisely in the center? Because how do you mount the, the, the dowel pin in here? Good question, yeah. Um, you start by just kind of uh, manually aligning it. So you'd, you'd have your part sitting down here and you just kind of manually uh, place the dowel there. And if you can see, the, the ends of dowel pins always have either like a rounded edge or a chamfer. This one looks like, it's kind of a chamfered edge on one side. And then this side looks like a little bit more of like a rounded edge. Yeah, and, and that, that round or chamfered edge acts as a lead-in to your part. And, and you can actually, say if my hand is the part, and this is like the, the you know precisely drilled hole right there, you can usually just get like a hammer or something and just kind of lightly tap your dowel in. And it, it's not going to go very far in, but it'll go far enough in so that it holds itself in place loosely. And at that point, you put in the arbor press and you... you uh, engage your ram and push it all the way in and and almost always that gow dowel pin will just self-guide itself into the hole you don't really have to pilot it as it gets pressed in sounds good i have no further questions okay let's see do we answer everything in here i think so yep. if you found this content helpful Consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.